Yo, what's up guys? It is your favorite mums here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So on today's video, we have got a good one today about the RTTF promo. So I don't know if you guys are living under a rock, you haven't heard about it. RTTF is basically road to the final, okay? So tonight at 6 p.m. UK, Friday night, we are getting the road to the final uh, promo, okay? Now, what I want to go through the video, today's video is going to be a little bit of all over the place in a sense that I want to talk about a lot of things to do with it. So, you know, I'm going to explain what this promo is, what you can expect, what kind of SBCs you can expect, all that kind of thing. Um, some of the predictions of what kind of players are coming out, some investments you guys could probably make and, you know, what's going to happen to the market. So it's a little bit of an informative one about, about what the promo is, but then also, you know, what's going to happen with the market and what are the best moves for you guys to make. So there's a little bit that goes into this one, guys. Um, firstly, I want to start off with showing you guys the loading screen. So obviously, if you are living under a rock, you might not have seen the loading screen. EA always like to give out little Easter eggs, which are basically little hints about what the promo is going to be. All right. Or like certain cards, sorry, that are going to be in the promo. Now, we've gotten a few hints to three of the cards. So I just want to talk to you guys maybe about, you know, what a lot of the predictions are saying, what I would think um, in terms of what cards we're going to get. And I'm telling you, if we do get the three cards that a lot of people are predicting and that it could possibly be, wow, um, it could be a good one. All right, that's, that's what I'm going to say. It could be a very good one. Oh, it always it keeps making me download my squad for some reason. So I'll quickly show you guys the loading screen if this uh, wants to hurry up. And we're good. Alrighty, beautiful. All right, so as you guys can see here, it's about to come up. Uh, this is the loading screen for Road to the Finals. There it is. So as you can see on the left, we've got a buy-in flag, 85 driven. We've got a striker with 86 shooting. And then on the right side, we have no position or, or league or anything, but it's just got the two, um, two of their ratings. Now, from past predictions, because before that loading screen, we did have some other predictions with numbers. And a lot of people did uh, dived into those numbers and predicted what they meant. So, for instance, one of them was a um, uh, coordinates. There was numbers down the side and there was actually coordinates. And if you looked at those coordinates up, <laughs> I don't know how people think of this stuff, guys, but it takes you to the coordinates matched with um, a junior club, a junior soccer club. Now, Rashford actually played for that junior soccer club. So it linked the the uh, the coordinates linked with the junior club that Rashford played for, um, and then obviously we see in the middle card we see a striker card. Uh, his stats that we see are similar to the to Rashford's stats now, like the one stat we see. So a lot of people are thinking that we could get a striker, a central Rashford as one of our cards. So I mean, you can already imagine how insane that card would be. If we do get a Rashford, you can already imagine. Uh, Rashford is such a good card to use this year, and it's just going to be a pretty nutty card. Now, the other predictions, guys. On the left side, obviously, you see uh, Bayern. So we know we're getting a Bayern player. Um, with the, st the one stat that we were given, a lot of people seem to think that we will be getting Davies. Again, wow card i mean a lot of people are using davies a lot of people are saying that davies is top two left backs in the game right now obviously mendy davies being the other one um if davies gets an inform and obviously we know Bayern should go far all right and i'll explain that further but that card's going to get upgraded it could be an insanely good card and then on the right side that one's a little bit hard to pick because we're only given a few stats but a lot of people are thinking it is um halland all right so that one, I'm not too sure about. I think the other two are much more likely um, with the, the hints that we've gotten so far. Those two are very likely to happen. In terms of the Hullen one, who knows really, but that seems to be what a lot of people are, are thinking. Anyways, let's quickly go into what this promo is, and then I'm going to show you on a website that I've got up here, uh, just FIFA AU, FIFA U team. Basically, I'm going to go through what we saw last year. So what you kind of can expect, and then we'll talk about the market and what's going to happen to the market, guys. So if you don't know what the road to the final promo really is, basically, the cards are chosen based on um, the cards are chosen based on their European football, right? So Champions League and Europa League. There's mainly Champions League cards are picked, but there are also a few Europa cards that are picked, and players from those teams get these special cards. 
Now, depending on how far they go in the tournament, they get upgraded. Now, I've actually got the upgrades written down here for you, so I can, so I, just so I don't get it wrong, um, so I can give it to you guys exactly. So basically, they receive it, their initial road to the final item, which you've, we're, we're going to get tonight. Uh, they then will get, when they qualify for the knockout stage, they will get an upgrade. All right, so if there's an 84 rated card, it works the same way as informs as well, guys. So an 84 rated, if it's an inform, goes to an 86. It doesn't go to an 85. That's a bit more complicated to explain, guys. There's a lot of different rules with informs. Like if it's an 82, it goes to an 84. If it's an 83, it goes to an 85. 84s go to 86s. But then like once it hits 86, they go up by plus ones. So basically, anyways, if a card's like an 84, with just the one upgrade, he'll go to an 86, right? Then an 87, 88, and so on. Now, qualifying for the knockout stage, they get an upgrade. The second upgrade comes when they win their first knockout game. Then they get another upgrade if they qualify for the quarterfinals. Another upgrade if they qualify for the semifinals. Another upgrade if they qualify for the final. And then obviously another one if they win the UA for Champions League. So there is an opportunity for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven upgrades. So if your card, if one of these cards is from a team that ends up winning the UA for Champions League, that card will get seven upgrades by the end of it. And I mean, you can imagine what that could end up being like. Say we get a Rashford, guys. Rashford right now, he's already got an 86 rated card. So I think his new card will be like an 87. Imagine seven upgrades on that card. He ends up being, what, like a 94, 93, 94 rated card, all right, if they go all the way. So you can imagine how insane that card would be. So yeah, they get an upgrade based on that, guys. Um, uh, what I want to show you guys quickly now is a card from last year. So this is one of the cards from last year, Militao. He started off as an 84 rated. So this card actually started off as an 84 rated. Because of how the far they went, he went from an 84 to an 86. 86 to an 87, 87 to an 88, and then 88 to an 89. So he got, I think, what what's that, like four upgrades um, and got himself to an 89. And obviously, you can see his stats now that he's an 89. Uh, they got pretty insane. So this is the kind of promo where, I mean, in terms of investing in these cards, you can invest in these cards as the year goes on, but it's you know you don't want to be sitting on a card forever. So some people I know, you know, these cards come out, they go and invest in these cards straight away. They're on these cards and then they're just sitting on a card for the next three months because obviously, you know, knockout stages to happen, semifinals, there's large gaps in between. So, but you can trade as, you know, as it's coming up to these things, you can obviously start to trade with these guys. Like when this card is starting to get close to his upgrade, he'll start going up in price. Um, if you know if they're definitely going to make it, so say he's like nearly guaranteed to make it, um, he will start going up in price. You can also find during games, so Champions League games, as they get closer, a meta card will rise. So for instance, you know if say Real has a card and Real is versing just an average team, okay, um, and they win that game, obviously it gets them one step closer to qualifying into the knockout stages, right? Each time they they win a game and get closer qualifying for the knockout stage, they're probably going to go up a little bit in price as well. So, I mean, that can also be a way of making money, guys. Just like, you know, predicting. I mean, it can also be a bit of gambling, right? Predicting if a card's going to, if a team's going to win a game, getting on that card maybe a bit before it, and then obviously riding it into that game. If they win, the card normally rises a little bit. But that's just an example of uh, one of the cards. And we are getting the exact same design uh, this year from what I have heard. That kind of gives you an idea of that. What I want to quickly show you guys now is, so this is just FIFA U Team, uh, just a handy site. They always have past uh, past SBCs and things on it. So this kind of shows you what we got last year, and we can talk about it. So I'll quickly show the squad last year. So this was the squad last year, the uh, first squad. So obviously, as you guys know as well, we're going to get two squads. Uh, this Friday and next Friday. So that was the first squad. We got a Kante in there. We had a Mane in there. You know, we had a Son in there. Like I told you, we had a Eda, we had a Dembele. So we get some pretty cool cards. This is actually one of the good promos in terms of they're picking cards from the Champions League. So most of the Champions League cards are obviously from good teams and they tend to pick good cards. So as you can see here, last year, I mean, Dybala, Mane, Kante, all good cards. Son, Allen, Dembele, you know, these were all Militao. These were all really meta cards last year as they were. And then they gave them a special card and they got upgraded.
And then this is the uh, second one, which was a little bit smaller. And we got um, Larice, Alba, Marquinhos, Bale, Depay, Goretzka, Party. And then as you can see here, we got some items available via SBC. So we got a Idrissa, we got a Canate, Angelino, and a Gomez via SBCs. All right, so we are going to see something similar to that with SBCs and things like that, all right? So this gives you an idea of 10 days of this promo, all right? So this is day one. Day one, we got a 25 and 50K promo packs. We got the team released, obviously. That's what that is here. We got a one-player SBC uh, release, which we already know about that one. The one-player SBC will be the fan vote, I would assume. So we already know we're getting a fan vote of Isco or Screen and Isco's team one. So we will be getting Isco. Obviously, this could change, guys. They probably will do a bit different this year. But um, we also got, obviously, themed puzzle and then the player vote, which we just talked about. Uh, day two, we got more promo packs. One new player available via SBC release. Uh, one new RTTF themed puzzle. Day three, more promo packs and another themed puzzle. So these are just um, themed SBC puzzles where, you know, you figure it out, you get a pack for, for figuring it out. Uh, 15K promo packs and a, and a themed objective. Fan vote again and promo packs. So basically, guys, you can see things. It pretty much goes like this throughout the whole thing. So what you can expect throughout the promo, you, we are going to get themed SBCs. We'll probably get daily themed SBCs, all right? So like we've kind of been getting already with other promos, you know, It'll be an SBC where it's like, you know, you need to use, you know, one player from this team, you know, five, you know, 80 rated players in there and you figure it out and then, you know, you might get a 25K pack or a mega pack or whatever. And it may or may not be untradeable. They're doing a lot of untradeable stuff this year. So we'll get that. There will be promo packs pretty much every day. Um, on the weekend, so the first two days, you're going to get bigger ones like you can see here, 25, 50s, 50s and 45s. And then, and then on the Sunday as well. Then as we get into the week, this would have been Monday, Tuesday. You know, you're still getting promo packs, but obviously they're just um, not as big promo packs. But we should get promo packs, good size promo packs. We could even get lightning rounds. Last year, they didn't do lightning rounds. So I, I would say we're not going to get it, but it's possibility, all right? But we definitely will get promo packs. Um, what you can also expect, guys, is player votes. Uh, so we will get to vote for a player that we want to... Um, get an SBC, they'll probably do that again. There will be game ones like the Isco screen. Whichever team wins that game ends up getting a, an SBC card. There'll probably be more stuff like that. And then we're just going to get general SBC cards throughout. Now, what are you going to need for the SBC cards, guys? Well, here is a list of some of the ones that we got. So as you can see here, we got a Canate. We got a Papu Gomez right there. We got a, um, a Willian. This kind of shows you the cards we're going to, but it tells you what you need to do for them. So, I mean, this can be a way of making money. If you guys want to invest, fodder, all right, is pretty much the easiest way to say it. What they did last year, as you can see here, they pretty much did the same kind of thing. They made you need one player from that person's nation. So, Gomez, Argentinian, one Argentinian, Canate, French, and you needed... Uh, a French player, all right? You also needed a player from the Bundesliga and the other one. And same with this, you needed a player from the Serie A. Now, that's basically what's going to probably happen again. Say we get another guy who's French and Bundesliga, you will need probably one French player, one Bundesliga player. And then you're going to need to do like a couple squads, depending on the player. Someone like him, you need an 85, 84, 83. For a Canate, you need an 84 and an 84. So I would expect in terms of fodder, you could see 83s, 84s, even 85s rise a little bit here, okay? Um, I don't think we're getting any insane cards this early, like, you know, a big 90 rated card. But I don't think you're going to need SBCs that are going to, you know, SBC cards that are going to need like 88 rated, 89 rated teams. But I could definitely see them obviously bringing out these kind of cards again, you know, these kind of ratings. And you'll probably need, you know, 83, 84, 85 rated kind of squads. So simply, right now, I mean, 83s are really, really cheap. 84s are really cheap. Now, I'm not saying go all out, guys, but picking up some cheap 
80, 83s are basically discard. Picking up some discard kind of priced 83s um, or some 84s and 85s, just bargain priced ones, isn't a horrible idea. All right, you can sit them in your club. And if we do get a good SBC, you know, something like a Gomez or a team that people think could go far. If we got, for instance, an SBC with a Bayern player in it, everyone thinks, okay, well, Bayern's probably going to go quite far. They're going to make it through the knockout, definitely. They probably will go pretty deep. That card's going to get upgraded, right? And if it's a meta card, which a lot of these cards are, I mean, they tend to pick good cards. I mean, look at this Kanate, 81 pace, 83 defense, 81 physical. So that was already a meta card uh, without any upgrades. Same with Papu Gomez, man. 91 pace, 88 dribbling. This was a meta card even before the upgrades. So they tend to actually give you fairly solid cards, or they, at least they did last year, okay? So that's basically um, what you guys can expect from this promo in terms of what we're going to get. Uh, that's a little bit on investments as well, guys. Now, what I want to just quickly talk about is, I guess, the... Um, the market, all right? That's probably the last thing to really talk about, all right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, you can't really correct me. But yeah, we've talked about the predictions. We've had a look at what will be coming, all right? And we've had a look at, you know, what the, pro, uh, the promo entails, I guess. Now, the last part is really, and I guess we didn't really touch on investments too much. We had a little bit of investments. Like I said, right now, man, there are going to be stuff to, to invest in, but we kind of have to wait for the team to come out. Once the team comes out, you could look at things like complementary investing. You know, an example is if we got a Davies, now I'm not saying do this because I don't know if we're getting Davies, it's a prediction, but a card like Sane or that Inform Nabri could see a rise. Because if people pack that Davies, or, not, or pack that Davies, right, or they go and buy that Davies because he's so insane, they're going to need to link him. Now, how are they going to link him, right? They're either probably going to link him with... Um, I mean, you want to try and strongly, right? So you're either going to go a center back next to him, but there's not many good buying center backs, right? What are you looking at? Probably Alaba. They're a bit cheaper. If you're pay that Davies card will be expensive. So if you're buying that Davies card, you're probably not using an Alaba or a Hernandez in your team. Okay. So then you're probably looking at like more, the cards that you maybe would give you a strong link that are more like not high C, but higher tier, maybe that Inform Kimmich, maybe a Sane, maybe a Nabri. Uh, the Inform Nabri. They're both on the left wing. You can use the 4334 three, four and get that link down the side there. So that would be an easy way to link them. Or you could play a 451 formation with Sane or the Nabri, and it's a direct link to that left back. So they're the kind of things you want to think about, and we will think about, and I'll post videos and we'll talk about that stuff. But until we see the team uh, and stuff like that, really it's just a bit of preparing for SBCs. Like I said, buying some of the fodder, you know, some 83s, 84s, 85s that are maybe cheap just in case we see a really really good SBC guys you know um and then once the cards come out as well there's investing that you can do on the cards themselves when they come out so pass that now market because I get quite asked this question a lot a lot of people on my on my stream the other day were saying you know is the market going to crash are we going to see a massive crash rah, 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 is this going to happen is that going to happen now what I want to quickly explain to you guys is there won't be a massive market crash okay RTTF promo in the past has never really caused a big market crash. It's not the kind of promo that does that. Normally because EA, they don't bring out lightning rounds. Um, it's not like, it's a promo, but it's not a big promo that everyone gets fully into. So it's not something that there's like a lot of pre-panic and things like that. Now, what you are going to notice though is obviously there's promo packs and people are going to be opening packs. Now, what happens when people open packs, guys, is some of these lower tier golds are going to get hit down. All right, now cards like, you know, your lower rated, so, you know, your 83s, your 84s, you know, cards that are like mid-tier meta to lower meta, they're going to get hit down. Your high-tier meta cards, though, guys, I wouldn't be too worried about. Cards, obviously, like Neymar, Mbappe, they're not going to go down. You know, your Varans, your Van Dykes, those kind of cards probably won't get hit. One, they're higher rated, so they're not going to get packed that often um, at all. And two, because of their so high rated meta, like they're so demanded that, you know, the, the little bit, the little bit of extra supply that maybe does get on, add onto the market from them, um, you know, the demand should, should even that out anyways. So if those cards do drop at all, they might drop. I'm not saying they're not going to drop at all. They might drop a little bit, but it'll be more of just a market correction because the market is super high right now. Like Van Dyke 
is I think it was like 450, 460 right now. Now that card on weekend league sell-off is normally low 400s as it is. So you might see that card drop, you know, fluctuate in between there, you know, but it won't go below 400. So you're not going to see this card crash down. You know, it might just be a little correction. Same with like your Varane, your Kante and those kind of cards, your Rashford. Now the cards that you will see maybe get hit a little bit are... You know, your 84s, 83s, 82s, 81s, middle tier meta to low. So maybe, you know, like a Semedo, 83 rated Semedo. You know, that card's got demand, but there's not enough demand for it. Um, he's 83, so he's going to get packed a lot. So, you know, that kind of card. Maybe like a Y now. I mean, he's 85 rated only. Um, you know, he's meta, but right now with the power curve, you know, he's not extremely demanded. So you might see those cards um, drop a little bit. But overall, guys, what I'm trying to say is basically the market won't see too much. Don't panic. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people being like, you know, I've got a 2 million coin team. Should I sell my entire team? Honestly, not worth it with the tax that you would then have to pay to get that team back and things like that. I would just be holding on. Maybe if you've got a low tier team, you know, cards like your Diego Carlos, uh, your Semedo, you know, your St. Max, your Traore. Um you know, your Allen, those kind of cards, you know, your Usman Dembele, you might see a bit of a drop in those cards. Uh, but yeah, your high tier cards are really going to be fine. And even those low tier cards like Usman Dembele and stuff like that, that still have our meta and still have some demand. I don't even think you're going to see insane drops in those cards, guys, because unless we get lightning rounds, if we got lightning rounds, maybe, but they haven't done lightning rounds in the past. You know, last year on day one, like I've already told you guys, all they did was... Like I said, there was one a themed puzzle, which, you know, you maybe you get like a 20K pack or whatever. And we got 25 and 50K pack promo packs. And they normally um, they normally limit those. So you can only open like 10 per person, you know, or five per person. So yeah, I don't basically, basically what I'm saying is I don't see a big deal with the market. I wouldn't worry too much. We are going to have the general weekend league sell-off. Um, so, you know, the market's going to see a, a normal mark weekend league sell-off into Sunday. It might be a little bit larger because of the SBCs and the packs being opened, but it's not going to be huge. It's not going to be a crash, all right? That's basically what I'm saying. I would call it more of a market correction because, like I said, the market is super high right now. A lot of cards are really inflated, a lot of meta cards. So maybe those cards just get correct a little bit and they start going, they go down a little bit to where they probably should be sitting, um, but they're not going to crash down. But yeah, that's it, guys, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I blabbed on a little bit. I just wanted to get through everything and kind of, you know, cover the, the promo for you guys. Um, so, uh, sorry as well for the lack of videos recently. Been very, very busy, but we're going to start bringing out more consistent videos, guys. I want to also start bringing out some more than just trading videos. Obviously, we do a lot of trading stuff. But in order to feel like the extra days, because um, I see some traders quickly, you know, they'll bring out a trading video, a video every day, right? But Sometimes there's not stuff that you want to bring out. And because they're trying to bring out a video, they're forcing the content. You know, they're bringing out a five-minute video or a seven-minute video, and they're just re-talking about stuff they've already mentioned in the past video. And I don't know. For me, I don't like to do that kind of stuff, man. I feel like you're just making content for the sake of making content in, in those circumstances. So, you know, I want to bring you guys trading videos or, you know, market videos when they matter. And you know what I mean? And not just, you know a video where on one day to say, oh yeah, well, the market's pretty good. It's, you know, and I just kind of repeat what I'm saying in other, in other episodes or other videos. So I think in those extra days off, maybe like on a Tuesday or a, something like that, a Wednesday, those kind of days where maybe there's not as much happening with the market because it's midweek, unless there's a big promo on or something, you know, maybe we'll start doing some squad builders uh, and stuff like that, you know, talking about, you know, the best defenders in the game, you know, the best um, players in positions, maybe some squad builds, just different things uh, of that kind. But yeah, anyways, man, let me know in the comments if there's any specific kind of videos you guys want to see. And like I said, I appreciate you guys hanging out today, watching the content, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.